Hello, everybody. Welcome to this edition of the Titus Timeout Podcast. My name is Matthew McLaren. I'm product manager for Chill Beams Critical Environment and Healthcare Products. In today's podcast, we'll discuss the control types for Titus fan filter units equipped with EC motors. As a brief recap, fan filter diffusers are exactly what the name implies. So the fuser with a unidirectional throw pattern, they include a high efficiency filter that is typically a HEPA filter, but also be provided with an OPA filter. Mounted in the inlet of the diffuser is a motor blower to drive airflow through the unit. Fan filter units are used to supply large volumes of clean air to maintain air cleanliness within specified levels. They are commonly used in clean rooms, pharmaceutical manufacturing and research, as well as all type of compounding pharmacies. These units can be controlled several different ways. From a controls aspect, there are two basic categories to consider. Units equipped with PSC motors and units with ECMs. In this podcast, we'll break down the control types available for units with EC motors. In a later podcast, we'll cover PSC unit controls. Units equipped with EC motors are programmed for constant airflow and should not be installed downstream of other control devices, such as constant volume boxes, variable volume boxes, or variable volume air handlers. With two control devices in series, the system will become unstable and balancing issues are likely to occur. The first control type we'll address for the EC units is the unit mounted control card. This is a universal control card and allows for units to be controlled in three different ways. Standalone operation, control by a remote analog signal, and over a building management system. In standalone mode, the onboard potentiometer is used to set airflow. Clockwise rotation is used to increase airflow and counterclockwise to decrease airflow. Analog mode allows the universal control card to set airflow using remote 0 to 10 volt signal. This signal is directly proportional to the 0 to 100% PWM signal controlling the motor. The last control mode for the universal card is network control mode. In this mode, the units can communicate with the BAS through a Modbus RTU protocol. The universal control card is equipped with two RJ45 connectors, allowing them to be daisy chained to one another. The following points can be controlled or monitored over the network. Unit start stop, airflow setting as a 0 to 100 print set signal, motor speed, default airflow setting, default start stop on power resume, and filter pressure drop when equipped with the continuous filter monitor. The universal control card for ECM units communicates with the building management system using the Modbus RTU protocol. However, the building management system is not a Modbus network. Gateways which translate between Modbus RTU and other communication protocols such as BACnet IP, BACnet MSTP, and LawnWorks are available. The second type of control for the EC units is the remote mount control option. These units are supplied with an on-off switch installed on the control box and a wall-mounted speed controller, which has a potentiometer for adjusting airflow setting, and it has a digital display that indicates the unit flow index, so you can monitor airflow. The control box and wall controller are supplied with quarter-inch bay terminals for field connection. A single controller can be wired up to five units. However, in this configuration, there is no network functionality provided. The infrared speed control option equips units with an infrared sensor on the face of the unit. This allows for unit airflow to be set from the room utilizing a handheld remote. This handheld remote can make adjustments to only one unit at a time, but can be used to adjust airflow for any unit equipped with the infrared speed sensor. This control is available for only models with roomside replaceable filters. Also, in this configuration, there is no network functionality provided. For more information on fan filter units, please check out our e-learning site or our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there, and thanks for taking a time out with us.